One of the great things about Telegram that I use all the time is um, I've got the desktop version, which is totally independent from the mobile uh, version, although you link up with the same account. But if I want to move files in between, um, I can put them into what we call a save section. So if I click here, I'm going to just move this off screen because I don't want to show my number and I'll just leave a section sticking out there. If I click the menu, then it pops up and it gives me all the, the different menu items here. But this is the one on your desktop that you see that's going to create. If I click there, it's going to create the saved messages. Uh, sort of a it's it's like a chat, but it's your, your private one where you can go save messages and later you can access them. But if you're moving it between your different devices, like in this case, I have my mobile device that is up and running here. So this device is my phone linked to the computer just to demonstrate it. I have a saved messages area. So when I'm busy doing work and I want to put a file in here that I want to access on my phone, it's literally a drop in here and it synchronizes over. So I can either drag and drop it so I can open up a folder. Let's see. Let me show you that. So if I go to maybe pictures, uh, let me take this image here. If I drag it, it's going to ask me whether I want to send it without compression or just convert it to a photo. But even though I drop it in here without compression, it's still going to give me an option still to send it as a photo when I do that. I could reselect that if I want to. So it gives me that. I can add more photos or I could just make multiple selections and drag it. Um, but in this case, I want to show you that when I send it, I'm sending it from my physical desktop computer into the save messages, which is sending it into the cloud, uh, the Telegram cloud. And the, once it gets there, it will synchronize with all the devices that is running the same account on. So if I do that, there it goes up and there you see it appears. If I click that, now you notice there it's grayed out and an arrow down, which means that it's in the cloud, but it didn't automatically download on my device. And I have configured that through my settings. Uh, for reason is that if people are sending you files, you don't want it to automatically synchronize onto your device because it is in the cloud. And when you want it, you can always go and get it in the cloud by just clicking this button. So. From my desktop, I've put it in the cloud. When I need it on my mobile device, I can pull it down. Or if I've got a desktop version with the same account details at work, for example, I can download it from the same saved messages section. So that's the power that you can share your files in between and it need not reside on your mobile device. Now you can set it so that there's a threshold. So if files arrive, they automatically download. Uh, but I've just set everything that gets my permission to download before um, I tend to, you know, look at the files. So <clears throat> one of the big reasons is, is because the file sizes that you can send on Telegram can go up to 1.4, 1.5 gigabytes. So if they don't have this uh, restriction, some people might be sending you three files that is one gig each, and then it might just automatically synchronize onto your mobile device. OK, uh, most other programs can't send that big files because they're sending it from device to device. Telegram works through the cloud currently from my desktop into the cloud. It's waiting there and it says it's available. And then if I click this, it downloads onto my device. Um, but look at this neat thing. If I'm on my desktop here and I click and I say, oh, I forgot I wanted to just enter a message and I wanted to say hello. This is the file. The reason why, why this can work is because it's in the cloud. So all that's going to happen is this device is going to update what's in the cloud and it will synchronize and update with every device that's linked to it. Look at this. Click there. There you see it's changed there. Okay, And that goes for when you're using Telegram, of course, to send to other users. Um, you also have the ability to edit. You have the ability to delete. It will delete it out of this device. So if I take this now and I delete it, I click here, it will clear off there because this is a, just a representation exactly of the same saved messages because it's in the same account. Now, just to show you on the mobile device, if I'm going to just delete this, you'll see it will come right off there also. So I'll delete that. 
delete it, you'll see it will refresh and take the saved messages off here. Okay. Just wait a second or two. It should synchronize. There we go. Okay. So how do you get that saved messages here? If you want to put something on here and move it to your computer in the other direction, you'll click there and click save messages. And in the same way, you can go get whichever files or send messages. But let me choose that one. And there you see it's going. Okay, the reason why it appears immediately on the desktop version is because the desktop version is understood to be connected to Wi-Fi. There's no mobile data link to it. So it understands it fully. But still, it does limit when you're sending uh, bigger size files. Anything over like 15 megabytes, it won't automatically download even on your desktop version. It will ask you to click the download button. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how great it is to move files between your different uh, devices using Telegram as the account. And then of course, you, if you create a group or a channel, you can create it and put files in there and store it for yourself. And all your devices will have access to those files. Um, and Telegram offers you unlimited cloud storage. I don't think many people think about it that way. But if you have... 500 files that are a gigabyte each and you put it in a folder that you have linked specially you created a folder you can have access to that and it's stored in the cloud at zero cost so that's actually quite phenomenal so i'm going to long press here and delete it off my device and we will see it will clear off everything and then i will go and also just delete that Oops, and let me select that and it synchronizes. Looking into the cloud, everything should synchronize. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that helps you to get excited about how you can use Telegram for that extra feature.